So generally, there is a confession that students who complete their class 12 from PCMB combination face difficulty when they join for engineering in computer science or in information science or it may be any IT related branch. So is that true? Then how to cope up with that? So let's address this issue today in this video guys. So welcome back guys. You are watching Brothers Together. So before proceeding with the video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, so immediately click on the subscribe button so that many informative videos like this will be uploaded in the coming days and then even I am planning to upload videos regarding freelancing, regarding placement preparation and regarding how to learn coding and all. So that will definitely help you a lot. So if you never want to miss out anything like that, so immediately click on the notifications button too so that you will be the one who will be notified when I will be uploading any kind of new videos. Firstly, I would like to inform you regarding myself. I am also a class 12th PCMB combination student now perceiving my BE in computer science. So currently I am in my first year. So to provide a deeper insight into it, let me take an example. Suppose you are studying in a school till your class 5th and you have a good amount of friends there and you are enjoying every bit of it over there. So then due to many reasons your father decides to put you into an entirely different school wherein you don't know anyone and you are new to the environment too. So in that case what generally happens is it takes some time it takes some three to four months for you to get into that i mean to adjust into that environment and then to make some good friends over there and after some part of time after five or after six months you will be completely adjusted to there and you will be completely happy over there so the same case applies here too when you are new to the background when you are new to this uh, field of computer science or information science since you have not studied uh, computer science as a subject in your class 11th and class 12th there will be some difficulty at the initial days Yes guys, you heard it right. As I said in the introduction, when going gets tough, the tough should get going. So I believe that all my community members are always tough and then you will definitely try to put your 110% effort and then uh, you just you should just learn to trust the process guys. So uh, how to cope up with this? Some may ask how to cope up since I am a PCMB student, I am facing some difficulty in my initial days. So how to cope up with it? For that, what I would like to suggest to you is even if you are not having any uh, com programming related subject in your uh, curriculum, I would like to suggest you all learn one programming language correctly in your first year. So you should have a complete grip over one programming language. So what is the perk of it? I mean, what is the advantage of it? You may ask. So what generally happens is when you study one programming language, fear in your mind regarding how can I survive in computer science background when I have not studied it in my class 11th and 12th goes away. You will know how computers work. You will get to know how uh, things happen in this background and then you will get a brief introduction to the background which you have entered to the domain which you have entered after your class 12th. So an introduction is uh, necessary everywhere. Suppose let us take an example of the video itself. In our video itself, introduction is definitely necessary. So in the same way, you will get a brief introduction regarding how your life will be in your upcoming three to four years, guys. So for that, I would like to suggest you all to learn at least one programming language correctly. And then that doesn't mean that you should never touch all others. So you should know the syntax of everything, but one programming language you should know very much deeply. That means that includes knowing the control flow of the language, knowing the syntax of it, knowing how to do object oriented programming in it, knowing how to apply data structures and algorithms over there. Yeah. For that, ju just make a resolution to learn one programming language correctly in your first year so that that will help you a lot remove this fear from your mind in the same way it will help you a lot in your upcoming years for your placements for your internship and all so when there are so many advantages of learning one programming language then what are you waiting for so you can just learn it out in there are many sources there are sources like udemy wherein you get premium courses for an affordable cost and then there it's there are many good youtube channels which are providing free content for python for c for c plus plus and all you can refer it to so one thing that i would like to uh, tell you before ending this video is that hard work beats talent guys you should learn to trust the process guys so even when you start learning a new programming language since you don't have an idea regarding it since you haven't studied any programming languages in your 11th and 12th in the initial days you will definitely feel like you are not into it you are not a suitable person for it everything will happen in that time you should learn to be at the best of your spirits and then just try to your consistent hard work and just try showing up every day every single day when you show up when you start putting yourself completely into that so that will make you a lot familiar with your new domain which you have chosen i hope all of you will take this in, your, in a positive way and then start to learn at least one programming language currently so that you will def you will get a brief idea regarding the entire domain and uh, the fear which is there in your mind regarding how can i cope up how can i survive among pcmc students even that will go away so you can cope up with that too so 
uh, this was it guys I started off with explaining regarding an example about how students face um, difficulty in their initial days and then so I discussed one thing which you guys can do so that it will uh, serve two purposes one thing is that it will remove the fear in your mind and the second thing being that it will help you a lot in your further years it will help you a lot in your internship it will help you a lot in the placements too so you can uh, just sail off through the coding ground yeah guys this was it guys this was it from my side since even i am from a pcmb background itself i enjoyed a lot when i was making this video if you did the same then immediately click on the like button so that i'll get some motivation to do the same kind of videos in the coming future and then if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions immediately click, uh, put it on the comment section so that i'll be going through it and then i'll be uh, I'll be thinking of what can be done regarding it. And last but not the least, I would like to inform you regarding our Telegram group, wherein around 850 to 900 uh, students who are perceiving their first year engineering, conducting efficient discussions in the same time, helping each other by sending it, maybe by sending notes too, and it may be by sending the question papers of their respective colleges regarding first internals. So many important stuff like this are going on in our group. So immediately join it if you haven't joined it, that will benefit a lot. And then share this video with your friends too guys. If they are from PCMB background, it will help a lot for them too. So thank you guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.